Hello all, this video is intended for adults and not for children as this is more of a buyer's guide of the Looney Bazaar's products. So the Looney Bazaar is my local little dollar store here in South Etobicoke at Kipling in the Queensway. And lately we've been going to the Looney Bazaar every Saturday. I haven't taken Nathaniel back to Dollarama because taking him in there is a little hard when he wants certain items and I have to say no to him. And as of the Looney Bazaar, you can pretty much get anything you really want in the store besides party supplies and like the main toy area shut down. But there, you know, summer stuff is available, craft supplies is available. So I'm just going to get started with, uh, we'll start off with, I guess, household stuff first. So I got three more packages of these blue hangers. So you get eight hangers and they're $1.50. So we always need hangers for something. And... I um, also have that portable washing machine, so I always hang dry um, our items in the shower anyways. So, it's a good buy on those for eight of these. And they are the smaller kind of children's size hangers, but they do the job. And then I got two more of these. I thought these were their excellent buy. I like the first one I bought. So, these are $2.75, and they are the over-the-door bag holders. So I did grab two more so you can put three of like your purses on them. But these hold a lot. Uh, I even put some of Nathaniel's like outdoor stuff like his buckets and stuff. And uh, he's got now he's got uh, his plastic little lawnmower bubble machines from my mom's house. So it's perfect to hang items up like that. So love those. Next is this really cool roll of paper towels. It's $3.75. This is who makes it. But it's really cool because it's a large roll of paper towels. It says the sexiest paper on earth. It's just white, uh, like white uh, paper towels, but it's got these cool leaf uh, designs on them in the green, orange, and pink. So even if you're doing like maybe decoupage, that would be cool to use these on something. But it's a large roll of paper towels. It is uh, two ply, it says. I'll see if I can get the sizing. There's all the sizing. So, um, and there is 120 sheets on the roll. So, cool kind of paper towels. Something different and unique. And then I grabbed another one of these. The other one looks grungy, so I wanted another one. $1.25 for one of these, like, little sink strainers. Just a small one for the bathroom sink. And then I grabbed this because I don't know if... Um, I've mentioned it. I don't think I have. Uh, if you have me on Facebook, you would know. But I recently got a job very part-time doing, like, nanny work. And I'm absolutely loving it. And the cool thing about it is Nathaniel gets to come with me and interact with the other per, um, child that I'm babysitting. And where we go, there's lots of other kids. So I bring snacks every day when we go. So I grab one of these cool little containers. Uh, they're $1.50. So it's just a container and it's super tiny writing and it probably won't focus. I'm just trying to see if there's a size, but it is BPA free. It's microwavable safe. Uh, just remove the lid. FDA approved. Uh, freezer safe and dishwasher safe on the top shelf. Uh, oh, it's 700 and uh, 700 milliliters. Clearly I cannot talk. It's late at night as usual. Uh, but uh, yeah, so a cool little container and just got a twist the lid for $1.50 just to throw our snacks in my backpack. And then these, I mentioned this before, I prefer to use baby wipes. It's just the way I am. Uh, these are not flushable, but I like these for all kinds of things. When we're doing art projects, easy cleanup. They can go in your compost here in Ontario. So these are the Bell $2 baby wipes and you get... 50 wipes in the package. They are the uh, they're dermatology tested, hyperallergenic. They don't seem to bother me, so that's what I like to use. And then I grab a can of this Airwick. It was two dollars, and it is the eight ounce can, and the scent is Rain Garden scent. So I haven't tried it yet, but just you know, freshen up the air a little bit. I also grabbed a package of these, uh, six of these little S hooks for $1.50. So, um, just, you know, again, to hang stuff up. So, I do have an old, like, garment rack that I can hang stuff off of. So, I might use that. You can also hang these in the shower, different purposes, just to hang up items that, uh, 
you know, the, I find when you live in a small apartment, if you use as much vertical space as possible, it saves a lot of room, <laughs> like on, like, floor space, so that's what I've been doing, just trying to get things up and higher up, uh, so grab the package of those. And then I grabbed a package of this, uh, just for the furniture, like, we really only have, like, we have my, uh, mom's futon now, and we also have, um, just an older, uh, futon, but with the cat here, it's, uh, constant, you can vacuum it, it doesn't come off, so I just grabbed one of these, uh, lit rollers, so a dollar seventy-five, you get forty-three sheets, so you get the roller on the, with the handle, and then you get an extra... Uh, package of the little sticky things so these do work fantastic and then Nate wanted these cool rainbow socks he called them which is cool because June is coming up and uh, that is pride month here in Toronto so he can wear this with his pride shirt but uh, two dollars and fifty cents these are the youth um, cozy socks for size uh, seven to nine They'll be a little bit large on him, but it's fine. So 98% polyester and 2% spandex. And then I grabbed one of these uh, little little pocket planners. So this goes from 2021 to 2022. And this was the National Parks for $1.25 just to throw in the backpack. Just to keep track of my hours. And it's cool because it's got images of National Parks. So that's really cool. Just something I can quickly write down the hours. Usually I do about uh, four hours, three days a week. So that's cool to have that too. But I love the image on the cover. They also have plenty of other ones with different uh, images. I saw one with cats, which was super adorable. Which I might get too, just because of the images of the cats. Something that Nate has also been into lately a lot is marbles. And he just got a marble kind of run thing from Amazon, which will fit these smaller marbles, but not these larger ones. But he loves marbles. So he grabbed two packages in there. So this one has uh, 12 of these kind of larger 25 millimeter ones. And they're kind of cool, like little speckled ones for $1.50. So that's cool. And then for the actual run, he grabbed these ones, which are um, $1.50 again. And does it say on here how many? I'm not sure. No, I'm not seeing that. But yeah, just something cool for him to do. He likes, you know, whatever entertains him, especially right now. It's, you know, kind of boring. When we're home, we literally just sit outside on the front sidewalk. So he tries to entertain himself. Uh, and then he grabbed another one of these because he thinks they look like rocket ships, which is totally cool. So $1.50, it is the beach cast, uh, capsule. And what you can do is unscrew the bottom and the uh, top part and then store your money and keys like that. It is waterproof and it can float and uh, it does have a string so you can carry it around your neck. But it does actually look like a little rocket ship. So he grabbed the orange and yellow one this time. And then I grabbed this. This was a dollar fifty, and I thought this was so cool. These look like the euros. So there is no five, but it's got the ten, twenty, fifty, and a hundred. And then it's just got some just coins that just say basic uh, like fifty cents and stuff on that. So the coins are kind of more for his pretend plate. But this would be perfect for when we're talking about Europe, and he could add these to his interactive uh, notebooks and, and talking about the euros. So that I think that's pretty cool. Some more uh, kind of outdoor stuff. So uh, Nate wanted, he has a bug, a little catcher kit from uh, his grandmother gave it to him. But he wants one strictly for his little bug finds and then one for nature finds like sticks and dandelions. So he grabbed this one in there. It was $3 and it's just a bug kit with tweezers and a little net. So, and it's got the magnifying part at the top. Now when he does catch bugs, I release them right away but he loves looking at bugs it does have the little string so you can kind of hold it around your neck there's the little net and inside is green little tweezers and then this was a cool little set so this one did i say the price <laughs> three dollars but anyways this one was two dollars and 75 cents and this is a 3d 
insect uh, viewer. So it, again, it has the magnifying there, and it also has it here on the side. It comes with the little tweezers, and again, to look at your nature finds. So I think that's cool. That's one thing we do almost every night is we'll just take a quick look, like around the neighborhood, and see if we can find new and interesting, you know, finds. And some stickers. So these are two for a dollar. Speaking of insects <laughs> and bugs, so these are really cool. These are fuzzy kind of design stickers and they just got like different uh, bugs it even looks like it has a mosquito there so two packages of those and then these i thought were really cool so these are reward stickers for a dollar and you could like we could use them for rewards when nathaniel does something positive but i like the ones that are on this side they remind me of actual medals that uh, people in the armed forces would receive so I thought maybe this could be we could use it somehow in like a Remembrance Day art or something like that but regardless they're really cool stickers I don't know how many oh yeah sorry it's 30 36 in the package so that's a lot of stickers for a dollar each and then I found this really cool I guess, uh, yeah, permanent marker, jumbo marker. It's a metallic. They're silver. They also do have the gold, but it's like an actual large one. And it says it's for dark surfaces. And it was $1.50. So I'll try this out. I still have to test out that um, cup that you cannot tip over from Dollarama. So maybe I'll test it with this marker in one of my videos this week. But so, uh, yeah. And it just, it's a larger size. And I typically, when I do stuff with permanent markers, I like to add silver. So we'll give that a try. And it looks like it might be a chisel tip on it too. So I'll definitely do a review on that for a dollar fifty. And then these I like. Uh, these are the Twistable by Corellas. And these are the pencil crayon style for a dollar. And you get three. So the blue, yellow, and red. Then I thought these are really cool. I grabbed two packages of them, and they're just pipe cleaners. You get 12 in each package for $1.25, and these are 20-inch long pipe cleaners, so longer than your average, and lots of bright colors, so we can do... I like to do uh, pipe cleaners in STEM building. And then this was really cool. It was $2.75, and there's a sizing on it, and it's just a natural canvas apron that you can do it yourself so your child uh, can uh, use markers paints and uh, make their own kind of cool apron that's what it looks like so make it personalized so that's pretty cool and then uh, we're not going to be talking about frogs until sometime next year we're going to be doing a whole unit study on it but Nate wants me to make him a pond, which I still need to do. I wanted some kind of sand or gravel. So they had this container for $2. And it's just colored sand, but it's like a light uh, tan color. But it's the kind of like thicker granule sand. So I'll probably be using that to make the pond in, as a sensory bin. I'm looking for the actual, like how many ounces. I'm not seeing it, but I like the color on that. They also had plenty of other colors in the store. And then the last item are these, and I grabbed uh, two of them. And these are non-skid uh, drawer organizers for $2.50. There's the sizing there. So I'm going to be doing workbox system with Nate. We're going to try it. We used to do that a long time ago. I did buy something off of Amazon, which I'm still waiting for the last item to come. It's one of those baker boxes kind of uh, literature sorters that has eight slots. And I, I think the paper size for them is like the 9 by 12. But I grabbed these just to make sure they would fit. I only grabbed two. If they do fit in there and I can fit the activities that I want to do in them, then I'll go back and get the other six that I would need to have eight. But yeah, they're really cool. And there's white color and they got this kind of cool diamond non-slip material inside here. So I like those and hopefully they work for the little activities I have planned for our upcoming school year. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this haul from the Looney Bazaar, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye for now.